Hi guys, welcome to our channel Let's Decode. In this video, we are going to know controlling of mouse and keyboard without manual control. Interesting right? Yes, it's very interesting and cool thing. It's a little advanced but easy thing to learn. So here is our agenda for this video. We will know how to type using virtual keyboard. Take screenshot automatically and control the mouse pointer using MATLAB. Without any delay let's start out video. Let's see how to control keyboard using MATLAB. Open MATLAB. Create a new script. And save it. Now import java.awt.robot and java.awt.event library files. Create a robot and variable, robot. If we want to type letter A, we write like this. Robot.key press, key event.vka. Here VK means virtual keyboard and A represent the letter A using this function. We press the key A using the robot. After pressing the we have to release the key. Let's do that also like this. Robot.key release, key event.vka. Let's run the script test. We can observe that letter A displayed at the place of cursor. Now pause the robot before typing the letter A, so that we can place our cursor wherever we want to print the letter. Here we give the delay in milliseconds. 1000 milliseconds equals 1 second. Let's run the script and place the cursor at the end. Yup we got it. Now print another letter B also. Copy the code and change the key value to B. Now run the script. We can see that letter B printed after one sec of letter A. We are getting the lowercase letters only. How to get uppercase letters? It's same as we do, we make use of shift key. We press the shift key and then press key B and release them as last and first out. Let's run the script. We can see that the letter print as we want them to be. Now try to print let's decode as it is. Clear the previous script and copy the lines and paste. Change the key values accordingly. But how to print the special characters like single quote, double quote, comma, question mark which are available in standard keyboard. Let's look at this table. We have a key value or we can say a variable name for each key in our keyboard. We make use of them to print. Now we need a single quote, its key value is vk quote. Now write the script for it. Similarly, for letter s also. Space also has key value vk space. This is for letter D. This is to print capital E and C. Then for letter O, D and finally for uppercase E. Let's run the script. Oops, we forgot to press shift key. Yup we got it. How to select the text and delete it. We know the shortcut is control plus A. We write the code for it, and then we press and release delete key. Now run it. Oh, gone all of a sudden. Now put some delay between these operations so we can notice that. Yup the text selected and deleted. Let's have some fun. What if we want to change the current tab and close it? Do you remember the shortcut for that? Yes, it's Alt plus tab to change the window and Alt plus F4 to close it. Now write the script for it. Let's check what is next tab we get. It's showing Filmora. Make sure your last window is File Explorer, so we don't have any problem if it closes. Once check it. OK it working. Now complete the code to close it after a delay of one second. Yup it's working fine. Now create a bounding box with the dimensions of the screen. It's 1920x1080. It's a double type of variable, remember, we are working with java.awt library, so convert to java.awt.rectangle and store it in rect variable. Now take the screenshot using robot.create screen capture with the dimensions of the rect. Now run the script. In the workspace, we can observe that the scrn variable is buffered image type. Or we can say, it's a type of Java image. Now, to convert it to double type variable, we make use of typecast function, which converts the variable of one type to given type. We take the values of the image as shown in the line. Confused? Yeah, me too. Let's know what it actually means. SCRN is our Java type buffered image. 
we get the RGB channel values from 00, 0 to the width and height of the image. This empty bracket represents all the values. We send those row-wise to the variable. We type cast the values to uint8 type. Now run what it gets for us. Whoa. It's 8,294,400x1 column matrix. What actually it is? It's 1920x1080x3 values placed in a column matrix. But how are they placed? If we take the first pixel of the image, its blue channel value is placed first, then green channels, then red channels, in the similar fashion, all the remaining pixel values are inserted in row-wise. Now, we have to sort them to get the RGB channel values. Let's create a IMG RGB variable, with the size of the screen, and of UINT8 type. Now we take the values of each channel as shown. This is based on the arrangement of the pixel values, which you learned just before. If you have any doubts, pause the video and go back, if you still didn't understand, feel free to ask in the comments section. Now display the image. Sorry, it's get width. Yup we got it. We know how to show only some part of the image like this. But what if we want to extract desired part from the image? For that we make use of gInput function, which get the coordinates selected from the image. Let's see how gInput works. Here to represent two point locations. Let's run it and see what it do. We get the cursor to select points. Now here is my first point, and here is my second point. See command window, it return the locations of selected positions. Now save them to y and x variables. Round them to near set value, as they are float type. Now select the image from the selected directions and display it. Now check it. Select these points. Yup we got it. Run again and select different part. Yup we know how to get a screenshot automatically. Let's see how to control the mouse using aut robot. We can move the mouse to given coordinates using robot.mousemove function. This will move the mouse to coordinates 0, 0. Let's see whether it works or not. Yup we can see that the mouse moves to 0, 0 position. Check for different positons. Now if we want to move the mouse pointer in a straight line from the position 1700, we move the mouse with an increment of 10 units and with delay of 0.1 seconds so we can observe the movement. Let's run the script. Yup it's working fine. You can try different positions and different shapes also. Let's see how to control the left and right buttons of the mouse. Similar to the keyboard, we press the mouse with the key input event dot button 1 mask, where button 1 represents the left button of the mouse, and button 3 represents the right button of the mouse. Release the mouse button. Let's check it. Now my cursor in an editor window, place the mouse over workspace so with a left click we activate the window. Yup we got it. We can also check for different positions. If didn't understand how this works don't feel panic, you will understand when we know about right button of mouse. Change the button 1 to button 3. When we run this, we get the options at the place of cursor. Yup we get it. You will understand it when you practice it, so try it on your own. Now check the scroll option. We scroll the screen using mouse wheel function. Input to this function represent the scrolling of number of lines in up or down decision. Let's check it. It gets us to the end of the script. There are many things we can do with them. Try to control both the mouse and keyboard. Thank you for bearing us till the end of the video. If you're having any doubts regarding this topic, feel free to ask us in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Share your valuable suggestions with us in the comments section below. Thank you once again and sayonara.